Hello everyone. <clears throat> uh, welcome back to the second part of our uh, project evaluation and review technique. In the previous video, that is in the first part, we have only done the uh, question A part, means we constructed the project network. In this video, we will do the second part, that is find the expected duration and variance of each activity. For a probability, beta probability distribution, the mean, mean of beta distribution, mean of beta distribution is denoted by the symbol mu is defined as A plus 4M plus B divided by 6. So this will give us the expected duration, expected duration of each activity. So for each activity, we will calculate this to find out what is the expected duration of each activity. Similarly, uh, the variance of the act uh, for each activity will be, uh, let me write uh, somewhere here variance of each activity is given by sigma square and the formula for the beta distribution will be uh, b minus a divided by 6 the whole square. So we will use this formula to find the variance of each activity. So we will have the same table uh, and then Subsequently, two more columns will be there wherein we will be finding the expected duration or the mean duration for each activity and the variance uh, in the fifth column. So fourth column we will calculate mean duration and fifth column we will calculate the variance of each activity. So this is the same table. First three columns remains the same. I introduced two more columns. One is for mean duration. Another one is for variance of duration. So first one. Uh, the formula we know it is 4 you have to multiply with this m value 4 times m and whatever is the result that has to be added with this a and b and finally the total needs to be divided by 6 right so for example first one 4 times 4 4 into 4 it is 16 16 plus 14 it becomes uh, 30 30 divided by 6 so it works out to 5 okay the next one 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 10, it is 18, 18 by 6, it works out to 3. Then 5 times 4, 5 times 4 is 20, 20 plus 16, it is 36, 36 divided by 6, it works out to 6. <clears throat> Wherever uh, the A, M values, or A, M and B values are in arithmetic progression, we can directly write the middle number. If, we, if you want, you can check, for example, 4 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16, uh, sorry, yeah, 4 times 4 is 16, 16 plus 8, 16 plus 8 is 24, 24 by 6 works out to 4 only. Similarly, this is 2 times 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 by 2, it becomes 2. Then again, uh, 5 times 4, 5 times 4 is uh, 20. 20 plus 10, 20 plus 10 is 30, 30 by 6 is 5. Then again, 1, 2, 9 is coming again. So I will write the same number 3. Then 4 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 plus 8, it is 24. 24 by 6, it is 4 only. Then 2 times 4, it is 8. 8 plus 10, uh, 8 plus 10, it is 18. 18 by 6, it becomes 3. Then 7 times 4, it is 28, uh, 28 plus 14, 28 plus 14 becomes 42, 42 by 6 is 7, right? Then variance of duration, we had already seen variance formula is B minus A divided by 6 the whole square. It means 10 minus 4, it is 6, 6 by 6 it is 1, 1 square is 1 only. Here. 9 minus 1, it is 8. So 8 by 6, 
8 by 6 means it can be written as 4 by 3 and then if I square it, it becomes 16 by 9. What is 16 by 9? It is working out to 1.78. Let me write 1.78. Then 14 minus 2, it is 12. 12 by 6, it is 2. 2 square is 4. This also let me write in two decimals. Okay. 7 minus 1, it is 6. 6 by 6 is 1. 1 square is 1 only. Okay, 3 minus 1, it is 2, 2 by 6, uh, 2 by 6 can also be written as 1 by 3, 1 by 3 if I square it becomes 1 by 9, what is 1 by 9, 1 divided by 9, it is 0 0.11, 0 0.11, then 9 minus 1, it is 8, uh, 8 by 6, already we have that value 1.78, let me copy that. Then again, I can copy the same 1.78 because B and A values remains the same. I will write 1.78. Then 4 minus 4, it is 0. So let me simply write 0 here. Here it is 8 minus 2. So it is 6. 6 by 6 is 1. 1 square is 1 only. Then 8 minus 6, it is 2. Uh, 2 means somewhere else we did. Uh, where is 2? Yeah, here. 3 minus 1 is also 2. 8 minus 6 is also 2. For this, we wrote 0 0.11. Here also, I will write 0 0.11. So, uh, uh, hope you understood this calculation. I just used this formula for mean duration and this formula for variance of the duration. So, it is answer is 53642, uh, 53437 for mean, and then variance it is 1, 1 1.78, 4, 1. 0 0.11, 1.78, 1.78, 1 and 0 0.11, right? So by this, we had done, in the previous video, we did the first one, that is question A we did. Now we have done question B. Subsequent, the questions, that is C, D, E, we'll see in our uh, subsequent videos. Till then, see you all. Thank you very much.